We all know the words Hollywood and drama go pretty well together. Every day in the news or on social media, something somewhere is always going on that ends up making its way to the headlines. Well, guess who landed themselves in hot water this time? It's none other than Nicki Minaj and Young Miami. Well, well, if it isn't the Queen Nicki herself. Well, everyone knows Nicki Minaj, right? Her rapping style has got to be one of the best in the music industry. And if you don't agree with me, then let's go, guys. I'm ready to fight you all on this one. No one messes with Queen Nicki. And I think I just gave up the fact that I was and still am obsessed with Nicki Minaj. Well, wait till my video of rapping to Nicki Minaj's monster hits the internet. It's all over for you guys. You might be wondering what it is this time that the two are involved in. Well, as always, I'm here to fill you up on all the juicy details of the tea between the two. But you guys know the drill, right? Go subscribe quickly and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any updates from our channel. All right. Let's get right into it. On Wednesday, May 24th, Young Miami teased an upcoming episode of her revolt talk show, Carisha Please, with Summer Walker, due to air the next day. Well, let's just say that the teaser video did not live up to Nikki's expectations and got a reaction out of her that none of us expected. Nikki took to Twitter and expressed her feelings regarding the trailer, and let's just say they were not very pleasant. She tweeted, Hits Diddy to advise him that a young lady on a show that appears on his network seems to have borrowed a very popular hashtag queen radio catchphrase puff who represents you these days child i got my drafted in my head young miami talking about you got into some things um now that's quite the reaction coming from nikki you may be wondering what all of this is about right well all this drama started when young miami posted the teaser and used the phrase let's get into something child you might be wondering what is this all about right why would one phrase offend nikki so much well not to worry the gossip superhero is here did I just give myself that name on the spot? Yeah, I did. So you see, Nikki took the extra offense because she claimed to have been using that phrase on her own show, Queen Radio, for some time, and found Young Miami's teaser a blatant act of copying, hence the anger. Well, if you think it ended there, you're so wrong. This went on and on and on. After Nikki tweeted, Young Miami was quick to reply and give her response. She tweeted, Nikki, what's really the problem? Because I definitely didn't get that from you. LOL, let's get into something, child. Actually, is a gay slang, LMAO. Now, judging by the tone of the tweets, it can surely be said the two are definitely not having a friendly chat, right? This exchange got us all hooked to our phone screens and anticipating what would be the reaction of the other. Nikki also didn't back down after just this and gave a quick reply to Young Miami. I mean, we all know when two divas butt heads, there's no one stopping them, right? And who would dare? Nikki replied, Carisha, now you know damn well gay slang is the first to go nowadays. Let's discuss it on Queen Radio, child. If not, I'm hitting Puff right now. You know he used to manage me, right? Now it's my man, my man, my man. Puff, what's up? Hit my line. Well, that escalated quickly. That was an exchange we all weren't expecting right? The tweets further fueled the situation and the beef dragged on. Nikki did not come to play and further tweeted a poll that asked her fans whether Young Miami was telling the truth or just dragging about the whole gay slang situation. She said, talking about gay slang, Carisha, please, let's ask the gays, Miss B. Is there an end to this back and forth? We think not. The two divas did not stop there and we're beginning to think that the two are not going to stop anytime soon. Now I know you guys and I know that there's one question on your minds. Why is Diddy being mentioned in the tweets again and again? What does he have to do with all the drama surrounding these two women? Well there actually is a reason for that. Diddy and Young Miami have been in a relationship for a while now. News of them being a couple hit the internet in 2022. Wait a minute, did he welcome the baby girl a while back and the mother is certainly not Young Miami? Well, to clear the confusion, Young Miami and Diddy are in an open relationship. Young set the record of her relationship with Diddy straight in an interview with XXL. When asked about her relationship status with Diddy, she said, People don't know what dating means. He's single, I'm single, but we're dating. That's what I mean when I say we go together. When we're together, we're together. We're having the time of our lives, but we're still single. Now that may seem unusual for some people out there, but then again, that is not everyone's cup of tea. Following the news of Diddy's latest family edition, Academics posted a YouTube video in which he called Young Miami a side chick. Young Miami is like Diddy's side chick, the media personality said. Young Miami tweeted in response, I'm nobody's side bitch. Let's just make this clear on this good Monday. I don't come second to no bitch. She continues to say that Diddy wouldn't even look at some of them that way, using a word that I can't exactly say here. Well, this surely is the definition of what one would call a complicated relationship. 
Diddy was also involved with Nicki, although not romantically. The duo collaborated on two songs, and surprisingly, Diddy was also her manager for a short period of time in 2010. This surely helps in explaining why Diddy has been mentioned again and again in the back and forth between the two female rappers. Coming back to the exchange in response to the tweet of Nicki, Young Miami, with no intention of backing away, continued the conversation. She tweeted, Yeah, I'm on my way to his house. I'm gonna call you when I get there. Well, we can't seem to decide whether these ladies are just playing around or actually planning to kill each other. I mean, this exchange was anything but friendly, guys. The whole conversation had me at the edge of my seat. It's not always that you see two people of the entertainment industry beefing so directly. Some fans were also quick to think that this is all just a friendly exchange, and both of them have no hate towards each other. Well, it doesn't seem like that to me. Nikki's been part of several controversies, and this spat with Young Miami is not her first time. We all remember the historic animosity between Nicki Minaj and none other than Miley Cyrus, right? Well, that feud has a long, long history that won't even fit the timeline of this video. But let's just skip to the main event, shall we? And you guessed it right, it is the VMAs of 2015. After winning the VMA for Best Hip Hop Video, Minaj turned to Cyrus and infamously said, Back to this that had a lot to say about me the other day in the press. Miley, what's good? Cyrus fired back with, Nikki, congratulations. Now that's nothing short of scandalous, right? I remember being glued to my TV screen with popcorn in my hand because that's the maximum drama I got, and I think that's enough for this life. Back to this that had a lot to say about me the other day in the press. Miley, what's good? Hey, we're all in this industry. We all do interviews and we all know how they manipulate. Nikki, congratulations. Although the recent drama in Nikki's life may not match up to that with Miley Cyrus, the recent exchange between Nikki and Young Miami sure had fans hooked into their lives and commenting about what they thought about the whole situation. Nikki's fans are known to be one of the most loyal fan base and have been with her through thick and thin. Artists in general are very particular about their individuality and mostly do not tolerate any type of infringement. Same can be said about the whole situation where Nikki did take the whole thing about the catchphrase personally and came after Young Miami. The exchange between the two has kept the feud streak of the music industry active. I mean, we all know how bored we would be if nothing of that sort happened, right? I mean, just imagine a peaceful Hollywood and music industry. That's gotta be my worst nightmare. I might even lose my job. Okay, maybe I'm joking. Or maybe I'm not. But what do you guys think about this whole situation? Whose side are you on? Do you think Young Miami actually stole the line from Nikki, or is Nikki just taking things out of proportion? Let us know your opinions in the comment section down below. That's all for today, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.